some search devastation. Effects to the people, challenge to civil engineers. Structural stability and failure. By Sunderland and known as Hyan is the one of the most powerful storms to hit the Philippines that killed thousands of people in November 8, 2013. With sustained winds of 270 kph, gusts of up to 312 kph, and the storm starts as high as 7 meters or 21 feet. Hush, many infrastructures and livelihoods in the Tayas region, including the city of Takwaban. Storm surge is a factor in the deterioration of the household and establishment during the typhoon. After the devastation of the storm surge, debris are scattered around the city. Dead bodies, fallen trees, collapsed structures. Everything along the coastline of the city was destroyed. Even the world signs, sea wall does not stand against the force of the striking waves of the rising sea water. Some deaths are cause of the structural failure. It comes to our curiosity about what is really the so-called storm surge and how it devastated a city. The main purpose of the research is to ter determine the effect of the storm surge to the civil engineering structures. To identify structures that are safe to be used as an emergency evacuation facility and to provide a solution that can be significant to the places near or beneath the shoreline. In order to gather information that is needed, we decided to bring ourselves to the city for a conduct site interview. Surveys, investigate and assessment. Upon arrival of the province of Lake, the famous San Juanico Bridge, the gateway to the city of Tacloba. From the bridge, view the glimpse of the devastation was welcome us. Roaming around the city, Meeting the towns of Fox, it is found to be that the most of the coastline of the city is the residential area. Houses and structures built along the coastline are mainly made up of light materials, semi-concrete, and only few are concrete. Also, most of the structures are old and low-maintained, yet, there are other structures that can withstand the effect of the storm surge that is located meters away from the shoreline. Since the Philippines composes of the thousand islands and islets that make it prone to storm surge, the research was conducted for a limited time only. It was done almost three months ago since the typhoon Yolanda hit the city. The result shows the proper and advanced warning devices must be installed to reduce the risk. Mitigation measures must be conducted before, during and after disaster. For the structures, houses must be allowed to be constructed at the distance from the shoreline. Sea walls to be built must be designed properly to be more effective. Identified evacuation facility must be well maintained and safe from any form of damage. This research can be referenced for other areas that are located along the shoreline, especially those places facing the Pacific Ocean whom they are much prone from storm surge.